Network. We are at Transworld 2016, and I've stopped at the booth at Silent Coffin Company, and I have here Brian to talk to me a little bit more about your coffins. Now, I've noticed looking through, they're not all exactly the same. Can you tell me a little bit more about what goes into your production? Well, no, they're not all the same. Uh, I started out with the, uh, the big coffins, the adult coffins, and then I added the kid coffins. Ooh, yeah, they weren't too well received. Um, the older folks didn't like any of the coffins, uh, and they especially didn't like the kid coffins. They thought that was a little, uh, a little, uh, yes, exactly. That was pushing the envelope. But, uh, but. Every, I've found every haunted house has a different level of what they're going for of yes. scare. So that makes sense. Exactly, exactly right. And you know, and like you said, there's variety. You know, you have to have a bunch of different things uh, so you appeal to to everybody, hopefully, with one thing or another. So. How'd you get started? Just out of curiosity. Uh, you know, I got started uh, in 2008, lost my job, and I was tearing down a fence for a guy just for some extra cash. And uh, it was an old fence, old oak fence. It's near Halloween time, and I thought I was going to burn the wood. And as I was throwing it in the burn pile, I thought, this is too nice to burn. I can't burn this. So uh, I thought, I'm going to build something with it. I'm going to build a coffin, a tote pincher coffin. And I did. I put them in the front yard. We decorate our front yard a lot. And we had people started stopping, driving by, taking pictures, taking videos. And then I had a couple of people ask, say, hey, can you build me one? It's like, sure. And then from there, it took off. It started with the mother and son coffin. And then it just went to other things, hearth coffins, tables, dartboard uh, covers, uh, wall shelves, wall sconces. Uh, it, just, it just went from there. So that's how I got started. It was just kind of a fluke. Well, that sounds like an exciting way or a nice way to get into the industry. I mean, like you kind of had to just jump in with both feet. I did. I did. And, and that's what I did. We came down here to Transworld six years ago to find out about it, uh, to, to see if this is something that we could promote our product at. And we walked around. We checked out the show. There was nothing. There were no toe pincher coffins here. There was caskets here, like regular rectangular one, but no toe pincher ones. So uh, we thought, let's come down, give it a try. So five years ago, we we did our first booth, and uh, we've been here since. So it's it's been good. So as a business owner, how has uh, Transworld helped you? Oh boy, it's helped tremendously. There's nowhere else where all these people come to one spot, and from from business owners to just haunt enthusiasts to actors. Uh, they're all here, and they're, they're looking for, for different things for their haunts, or their, their front yards, whatever it may be, and uh, nowhere else do I get this kind of exposure. So this has been really, really good. Uh, we have one question that we've been asking everybody at Transworld, just for fun, so no, no <laughs> nothing scary. Well, I mean, I think we've got plenty of scary going on, so I'll just ask you our little poll question. What do you prefer, uh, makeup and prosthetics or masks? Oh, that's so easy. Makeup, makeup, no masks. Okay. No mask, no mask. Makeup and prosthetics, uh, I think the features come through, you know, the facial features. You can't get that with a mask. Now, the masks are very, very cool. I think the detail and some of these masks are incredible. I mean, there's some very talented people out here, but I like, makeup and prosthetics and now if i had any more questions about like your coffins or how i could get a hold of one my, for myself or my haunt or whatever where can i find you well our website is uh asylumcoffins.com uh we have a facebook page uh we have a twitter account we have instagram youtube so you're all over the internet yeah, that's all i can think of uh my wife she more takes care of that stuff i'm not as techie as she gets but uh but that's where we're at. You can find us. But you're out venues. there. Yeah, All right, cool. Well, thank you for your time, Brian. Thank I appreciate, you. appreciate it. it. Enjoy the rest of your trans world. Thank you. Appreciate it. And this is Destiny signing off for Haunt News Network. We bring you all things haunted.